What's up guys, I'm Josh. Welcome back to the Metal in Motion shop. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about how to uh, look up parts for your outdoor power equipment. Um, I'm gonna specifically be talking about a riding mower today, but the same principle applies for push mowers and everything else. So on a riding mower or a push mower or anything like a rotor tiller or a generator, it doesn't matter, there's gonna be a tag um, for the equipment. Okay, so we have to break this up. Say a riding mower or a push mower. They're both the same. <laughs> the, uh, there's a tag number for the frame components and then there's another tag number, a model number, for the engine itself. A lot of times these things come down the assembly line and they're just plopping motors on them, I guess. So the motor manufacturer is different than the frame, the wheels and the handlebars and all that kind of stuff. So if you're needing something like belts, blades, cables, key switches, seats, wheels, tires, bearings, you're gonna be looking up the tag number that's usually found on a riding mower under the seat. And it's a uh, like a 10 or 15 digit long, it's got letters and numbers in it. And uh, oftentimes there's a serial number is there as well. And, and on some models, you'll need that serial number too, because I guess there's uh, maybe even some differences within the years that they made those uh, machines. Where do we find the tag number, okay? On MTD products, I just mentioned it's under the seat with uh, AYP, that's gonna be like Craftsman, Husqvarna, those are oftentimes under the seat as well. When it comes to John Deere, John Deere is often uh, usually on the back fender well, like where the back wheel is, inside, behind, there's often like a tag or a sticker. And uh, something to keep in mind, on some John Deeres and stuff, the deck actually has its separate model number than the mower does. I guess sometimes they had a mower, and I'm saying John Deere, I might be getting that confused with, um, I know my Troy built. I have a uh, 1999 Troy built and it has a separate tag number because it came with a 61 inch deck or a 48 inch deck for the same exact mower. And so um, if I wanted any kind of deck spindles or blades or anything, I have to reference that tag number on the deck, nothing else. Um, okay. If it's a zero turn mower, I've seen the tag number under the foot where you put your foot down, that flat folds up and then there's like a piece of frame in there that's got a tag number on that. And usually it's a model or a serial. So that's for um, the frame components. Now, what about the motor components? So if we want air filters, spark plugs, carburetor parts, governor parts, pistons, rings, whatever, bearings, you're gonna reference the model, serial, and type. Or the, I think Briggs is model, type, and code. And uh, Kohler Kawasaki is uh, model and serial. And so say you've got an older Briggs, it's a single cylinder. Uh, a lot of times that tag is stamped right on top of the blower housing, right on top of the engine, Briggs and Stratton, and then there's a little rectangular tag that says model type and code. If uh, you've got a newer Briggs they that's overhead valves, they started putting the model stamped into the valve cover itself. And I'm gonna post some pictures so you guys can see these. If you're looking at like Kawasaki and Kohler, Kohler has the tag uh, both of them do, have the sticker stuck on the side of the plastic uh, blower housing on top. And it drives me crazy because over the years, the ink on that thing will wear off or somebody will pressure wash the sticker off. And I have had to try to, to order a new engine for an old, worn out Kawasaki motor and they, they couldn't help me. They said, without that tag, I don't know what you got. Short of pulling that engine and doing a bunch of measurements on the crankshaft and doing blah, 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 blah. Um, it wasn't an easy process and I wasn't willing to pull that entire motor to start measuring everything they wanted me to measure. So anyways, that tag is important. Don't pressure wash it off, don't scrub it off. If you're worried about it falling off, put some tape on it to protect it. Um, okay, so now we've, we know where our tag numbers are and we get the number. So we get our model and we our serial. How do we look up parts? Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out, okay, do you have a Simplicity? Do you have a, a MTD? In this case, this one right back here is a, a Husky. I would say Husky, Here's the tag under the seat, if I'm wanting frame related parts, uh, parts. And that's all you're gonna put. And it's gonna pull up like the first four websites. It's gonna be like Sears, Jack Small Engine, Parts Tree, E-Replacement, E-Replacement. Um, and some of these work better with your phone than others. So E-Replacement, I don't like the layout, so I don't use them. Jack Small Engine doesn't, the zoom feature when you've got this exploded little 
picture and you're trying to move the goofy thing around, it doesn't work well with my phone. I've got an iPhone. Uh, so oftentimes, Parts Tree is what I try to find. If you can get at Parts Tree, they've got really nice pictures and it's the layout's user friendly, in my opinion, for mobile devices. Okay, so <clears throat> you go to Parts Tree and what are we looking at? So now we're looking at all these exploded pictures. Everything, if you say we're looking at more parts, it's going to be, you know, transmission, drive system, deck belts, or deck, deck and spindles. You've got steering, you've got wheels and tires, you've got uh, body parts. And, okay, and every one is a different little category. And so you have to kind of know what category of part you're looking at. So you click on that picture, and now what are we looking at? We're looking at a, a, a mower deck that's been exploded. Hence, it's an exploded parts diagram. And there's lines, and there's the part, and there's a number beside it, each part. So when you find your belt on there, look for the number that's got the line drawn toward the belt, and say it's 52. Now you're gonna scroll down below, and you're gonna find 52, and it's gonna have a picture of the belt, and beside that, it's gonna give you the actual part number you need. That's the number that you can take to a small engine shop and say, do you have this part number? Uh, that's the number you can put into Amazon or into eBay or into Google and just try to find that part number. And sometimes that number has been superseded and you'll put that in and they'll say superseded by this new number. And that would be the number that you would go by. So um, same thing with the engine uh, parts. You would take Briggs and Stratton. Here's the model uh, type. That's usually all you need for the Briggs and Stratton. And it's going to give you the exact same thing. Go to parts tree, go to e-replacement, go to Jack's, wherever you want to go. I don't care. And then just find those pictures, find the part you need. It's got the number, go down below, find the number. And then that beside that will give you the actual part number. So that's how uh, you look up parts, guys. There are also part numbers on some of the parts themselves. Obviously, if you're looking for things like a spark plug, just bring the spark plug in, providing it's the correct spark plug. And the way that you would know it's the correct spark plug Look up the engine components, find spark plug in there, and see what part number it calls for for that spark plug. And you can know if the one you have that came out of it is correct. And if it is, take the spark plug down to the O'Reilly store or wherever you need to get a part. I need the spark plug and they'll give you one. Same thing with air filters. Same thing with fuel filters. Same thing with uh, oil filters. A lot of times they have a part number stamped on them or printed on them. And uh, providing you know it's the correct part number, just go and uh, you can at least have something to go by. You can put that part number into Google or you can go into the small engine shop and say, I need this part number. And that will save you from having to look parts up. Well, anyways, that is uh, kind of a quick video on how to look up parts. Guys, don't be that guy that walks in there and says, I need a, an oil filter for my Simplicity mower. Dude, you could have an 86 Simplicity. Well, I don't know when they made them. You could have a, a 2005 Simplicity. We don't know what it is. Don't be that guy. Look up the parts, get some practice with it, have fun snooping around on there. Hope you learned something. As always, if there's something I forgot, if there's an easier way of doing it, let me know in the comments below. I'm Josh with Metal Emotion. We'll catch you next time.